हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी यू डिस्कस हाउ टू एड टू कार्ट सपोज यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड वॉट एवर डू वॉन्ट टू एड इन साइड यूर कार्ट सो वी यू डिस्कस इन लास्ट वीडियो सपोज यू कैन चूज द कलर एंड ऑल्सो इज देयर साइज एंड आफ्टर यू प्रेस द एड टू कार्ट सो इज आइटम इज गोइंग टू कार्ट्स लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन डू लाइक ए हियर इज अ लिस्टिंग ऑफ द ऑल द कार्ड्स एंड हाउ वी कैन रिमूव यू आर क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन एंड रिमूव द कार्ड्स and also we need to make like a totals like a here whatever quantity there this is the total how we can make it in this video i will show you everything step by steps okay so let's start now so you are new in this channel otherwise in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so our error solution family is going to big and we are trying to give the big best best videos so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so now we need to continue like a cart list and also do you want to buy any script so just go to our error solution code.com means our official website and here is a script menu and you can buy and also do you want to do like a freelancing work so just contact like a skype whatsapp otherwise telegram but always we are preferring like a skypes okay so first of all we need to open our documentation suppose you are following the first video so you understand which documentation we have used so just scroll down so you can see it, how we can do it like here you can see it, like cards there like a name there quantity there price there so everything is showing here we are did like get content so you can show it i already show you so let's go to header file and how we can make this dynamic i can show you step by step just go to resources inside views inside layouts inside you can see it like header.blade.php it's very simple very easy now so just scroll down so you can see it where is the our cart scroll down scroll down so you can see it here is our cart like this is the first products where is the first product here yes. here we can work like a for loop suppose i minimize now so you can see it this is the different loop you see so here is the two products there so just simple we need to work here like a for each and you need to copy this name like a cart get content as a dollar item and just put like a and for it okay so it's very simple very easy everything understanding no any difficulty just you can follow the document and watch my video so you understand what i did here okay so let's go back again refresh the page so we can check here is error cannot error so 100% not showing the error so you can see it like one product showing let's go to back and i can go to like another products like this products and i can add here the like a for quantity and just color any color do you want to like you can choose net to cut so you can see it here also like cut item there color name also there color id we did so color id and a cut wise you can get so you two products showing so now what we can do we have a id so let's print the id same like he did you can see it like row id so just you can go back again and here you can change like a row otherwise you can change like a header cut i can make like a unique variable name so i don't want to make a mistake in like other part this reason so okay header cut and i can put like a like php and php first of all we can start like php so better we can provide here name like a id so let's see so you can understand easily okay so i save this files i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it now id showing 6 and 5 so 6 and 5 showing so means we need to write our coding to get the product details so here you can type like a get cart product here you need to declare our controller like apps models and our controller name like product models sorry not controller models we need to declare here models and here you can type like get single i can show you this is the function already there this reason i am doing like this okay and here just you can pass like a this id this is very simple very easy no any difficulty so you can see now get single just go to product controller sorry product models here you can see like get single function and just copy paste so suppose you are make a mistake about the spelling mistake so you can't generate like this issue okay this is the done 
now we need to put here our title dynamic so simple here you are getting the product details and here you can put like a as where is title and just save and just go back so you can understand so you go to backs and is no any errors so you can see it, titles okay i have not saved this file this reasons okay yes save not okay just save these files just go back now so you can see it like yellow button and here working very well like a here product there to this product you can see it okay so now what we can do here is a item found so just also you can short out here url so url first you can start the laravel inside you can do it url so simple slug so you are also going to detail page okay so detail page also done now here we need to write quantity so you can type like quantity here so what is the words here use qt wise so just copy and you can put like a whatever variable name there like a header cart and you can type like a quantity same thing you can do it here price it is the cart inside their price okay so let's go back again and we can check it is working not working i refresh the page so 100% working no issue you can see it now quantity qty why is not works let's see header cart qty why i save these files price showing but quantity is not showing so let's go back again refresh the page sometimes spelling mistake generate the issue 80 and 60 price showing so qty wise quantity let's go back again and paste here header cart header carts so let's go to back again and we can check again okay let's print the detail about the cart so i already print so just i can change the slug i can different like cart because i need to debug why is not showing so you can see it here error there so just go inside and we can check what is the issue like a quant oh here is a words like a quantity not qty so just copy and you can put like a quantity sometime is a like a here is a, he can change the plugin but he not change like a this thing so always do you want to do like a, here is a session wise work this is the reason also possible and we are working without session so also possible so we just need to scroll down like here you can check it like a, what is the issue but everything i think is good so let's scroll down here is get the data so we can i can show you proper way this is the reasons mm, subtotals mm, i think is they are not the, okay so you see quantity here this reason is a quantity you can type otherwise no any issue okay just save this file and just go back refresh the page so you can see it is working very well now one and 80 dollar and 4 into 60 dollar so here we need to write like total so total how we can get so just go to up here you can see it everything here you don't want to go anywhere like here you can see like a sub total suppose you can use this one so also get the total so just you can put here like a total <coughs> always do number format but let's see first how it's work after we can short out number format let's go back again refresh the page so you can see 320 so here is a like a calculation work like 4 into 16 so what is the total 16 into 4 so 16 into 4 is equal to 240 240 plus 18 so t 240 plus 18 so is equal to 320 so here you can see it like a 320 you see so sub total working very well because here is a four quantity is a 16 so is a sum so let's sort out like a number format so look like a professional this is the reasons okay number format let's make control z i have not copy proper way this is the reasons and here i can put like 2 and also you can sort out like price also number format otherwise you can do it like is equal to whatever do you want to like so you can do it like calculations okay like 2 Mm, save these files and just go back again refresh the page so number format look like a professional this is the reason you can see it 
here also one thing available suppose you are getting the data just go up here you can see it like a price here you can see it like uh, everything is good i don't think need to check anything because here is a get total also there subtotal also there remove updates everything is there okay so you can learn this is the attributes like this is the like what i say you can learn for this plugin so you can understand easily how what do you want to need but our side we need like this this is an i will shot out like this otherwise i can explain like one by one everything is so going to big video and people don't like to watch so simple way whatever we need we can do it suppose i am click here so it's going to detail page you can see so this is the works value well. now we need to change the our images so simple you can go back again whatever file so suppose i am going to list and here you can see this is the images you get so just copy and paste here you can see and we don't need here already php started so just remove and you can put this is the already we have created here you can change like a get cut product and here you can see it like get single is there you see like a first suppose you are follow so you can understand how you can get the images and here also you can pass like a id so and here you can see it like a images so just you can go and you can copy paste so also possible like a get logo i copy and i put here where is the our images here there let's see is working not working i just go back again refresh the page so we can understand is working not working so it's working very well you can see it like a clothes showing and like a shoes showing and one is a clothes showing so everything listing is done you can see it here so i hope you can understand whatever i ever did like first we have get the data after we have show like all things now we need to make like condition like cart inside data there so we need to show other we don't want to show so simple you can make a first we can short out like count here is the total quantity there like a two quantity two item there so we need to show item two so here you can go to again like uh, so this is the remove we can do it here just you can search like count so easily you can get otherwise you can see it like count so let's copy this one and here you can put like this and just you can pass like a count let's try and just go back again after refresh the page so it's working very well no issue you can see two counts works let's go to different products and we can add i am going to shops shop inside fashions i can add this is the items in our sides like green add to cart so here you can see three and also you can showing here three you see so meaning about like a cart list is done inside a header and also we have shot out like a count suppose here is a delete button we can do but first we can remove product we can do is better we can make like condition suppose we are removed so we don't want to show so just you can copy all thing like this and here you can minimize and you can put like a if is not empty so just go inside otherwise no need to go inside very simple and a very easy condition no need anything else okay so you can see it here so i hope you have a clear now view cards so just we can provide like a link about the cards and also we need to provide like a checkout link here so just scroll down and here you can put like a url this page we have created yesterday but we are not created sorry just create of routes and controller inside your call not created like a blade page now also you can provide like a checkout page so once we can do like cart and checkout so we can do it so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it let's open this link in private browser so you can understand what we have did it's very simple very easy so you can see now you can't click ables because here zero item suppose you are add to cart here so you can see it here just add to cart in back you can see so everything is working very well. suppose you are add like more quantity here and after you can add to cart and you need to choose the colors add to carts so also you can see price automatic increment before is a uh, one there and after you add like five so six and six into 15 so is a 300 so is working very well so i hope you are clear in this video how to make a listing about the cart inside a header 
next video we can show like how to delete about the cards like suppose you want to delete the product inside a card so how we can do it so i will show you in next video and also we can continue like a view card and after we can continue like a checkout i hope you have a clear everything how to show inside a header card product list and why we did this one i can explain again here like how, suppose you can provide direct name so it's possible because of i don't want to take a risk so just you can make here also condition like if like here if is not empty i always like a condition i don't want to take any time risk to generate the errors okay and simply you can go scroll down and here you can put like a and if okay and just copy for this one also and you can put inside and you can remove the first one and here also you can remove so always condition wise work so it's a good quality work and always your habit always need to do condition works so don't worry about any client you are developing code so always you get a best result and your client always happy and you get more work from the client so i suggest always do condition work so you it is good for you and good for your client because client is investing money so we are provide a quality work is our our side is a professional work simple okay so it's working very well no issue and everything is clear suppose do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video and please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe and please press the bell icon and next video i already told you what we do like delete and view cart list and thank you for watching error solutions